Hi, this is Dr. Palani Appan Manikam. I'm certified in internal medicine and gastroenterology and I'm practicing in California. I thought I'll share some information about coronavirus and then update you based on what I know and I have seen in clinical practice. I know it doesn't sound like a typical doctor interview. You know, there is no anchor. Uh, you know, sometimes in those doctor interviews, you'll be like, that anchor doesn't want to be there. And the doctor is so uptight with the white jacket and the stethoscope. And his main goal is to not to smile throughout the interview. So I thought I'll just make it a little bit different. Not because that nobody is there to interview me. There were people lined up to interview me. I just thought that, you know, I'll just give them some more time. Okay. But anyways, if you guys are interested to interview me, please let me know. I'll be happy to in the next video. Okay. There was nobody. All right. So just to confirm this. Can you see this? Palani Appan Manikam. California Physician Licensed. And just to prove my credibility. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to run through the frequently asked questions uh, about Corona. All right. So first question, Wanda, is this Corona new to us? Um, actually, Corona means in Latin, it's a hat. A virus has a hat around it. And this is not new to us. We have seen this time and again before. In 2003, it came back as SARS in uh, Hong Kong. And then in 2012, it came back as MERS in Abu Dhabi. And now in 2020, it is coming back as COVID-19 in China. It belongs to the same family. It just comes in three different forms. It's like first virus is Shivaji Ganesan. Second, Gane second virus is Prabhu. And the third virus is Vikram Prabhu. At least the first two virus know how to act. This third virus doesn't know how to act and also annoys us to the core. And that's the problem. Why is it bad now? Why is it everybody is talking about it? The main reason is the risk of community acquired infection is very high with this virus. What I mean by community acquired infection is you don't have to be around an infected person to get this virus. The virus is just spread throughout the community. And that is why people consider this as a dangerous virus because it can be easily spread. I'll give you an example. Let's say you go to the temple. You give $100 to the God and then pray that Muruga and Corona Varama Pataka Abdinti. Little do you know, the priest who is standing right next to you has been infected with Corona already. Even though he has not left the temple for the last 10 years, he comes with a laddu and give it as a free prasad to you. Just before giving it to you, he makes a, he makes a big sneeze right into that laddu. And you are so excited on seeing the laddu and just the sight of the appetizing ladu, you put your hand on it and just put it into your mouth and boom, the corona is inside your body and you don't leave it right there. You also have your son get it. Sami, tambi kuna kuduttunga. Free ya kudutta, rendu ladu kuda vangonanga. That's how it is getting spread even without you knowing. So that is why this is so uh, being talked about in the news. Does this mean that are we going to die? If Vikram Prabhu continues to act in the movies, we will definitely die, but not related to Corona. Maybe Corona, we might escape. I'll give you some numbers. So if let's say we take 100 patients with Corona virus, 83 patients do very well. So they don't have any problems at all. They will have like mild fever, sore throat, cough, will be sick for like two to three days and they recover completely. They will not have any problems at all. It is those remaining 17 patients where there could be some problems. Out of that 17 patients, 15 patients might go on to develop complications. For example, what I mean by complication is if the virus stays more than three days, it starts eating up your lung cavities and then starts having pneumonia. So you will start having like high fever, shortness of breath. You can't breathe that much to a point that you might need hospital admission. So it's similar to like being with your in-laws family. You know, if your in-laws family is in your, with you for three days, you know what, that's okay. You could survive. But if they are for three months, you will feel like you better get Corona and be quarantined. It is exactly similar to that. Within three days, the mild infection will go away. If it stays beyond three days, it will end up in complication. The most important category of patients is those 2% of patients where this a virus can actually cause severe illness to a point that we might not be able to save them. Again, this two person does not belong to healthy population. There is certain high risk futures associated with this virus, with this two person people. For example, patients should be 
patients who are 80 years old patients who are elderly and uh, a male uh, and if they have other medical problems like diabetes hypertension liver disease anything like that then they are at an increased risk in a nutshell think about amitabh bachchan if you have a guy like amitabh bachchan who's 80 years old who's male who has other medical problems you have to make sure that he doesn't get coronavirus infection at all you do all the preventive measures possible because those patients will go down south pretty soon okay all right so how do we prevent this there are two ways to spread this virus one is you you know you have your loud friend comes to right in front of you and then coughs right on your face you get all the secretions into your body and boom you get the coronavirus second is you touch all the infected surfaces like mouse keyboard desktop laptop bathroom surfaces elevated knobs door handles staircase holdings and then once you touch this and then either you rub your eyes you prick your nose and you put something into your mouth without washing your hands you will get coronavirus this is very simple everybody knows about this but what can you do to prevent this is first if you come across any sick person stay away from them at least 6 feet you know how to calculate 6 feet you remember the one arm distance that you used to have uh, you used to get taught at the school back home and that's the only way to separate to form a line between boys to boys is one arm between boys to girls is one mile that's a different problem to talk about later but anyways if you can't calculate 6 feet one arm distance three times the one arm distance remember that you need to maintain three times the one arm distance to prevent the spread second if at all you are so tired and if you want to remove your glasses and then try to rub your eyes make sure that you wash your hands before that sometimes people have this tendency to prick their nose because they don't have to do they don't know what to what else to do don't do that and number 3 is before putting anything into your mouth wash your hands when i say wash my wash your hands it doesn't mean like this for like 2 seconds it shouldn't be like rishabh pant innings in t20 six six and out it should be like rahul dravid in test cricket slowly every finger back and forth back of the wrist front of the wrist two fingers to a point that the corona virus itself will be so frustrated that it will leave your body and go to a different place like you remember the shoaib akhtar bowling to rahul dravid in test cricket shoaib akhtar will go as far as as he can he will run as fast as he could and he will throw the ball like a bullet what does our rahul dravid does took and the ball dies down right there Shoy Bakhtar gets so disappointed that he runs to Pakistan the next ball. Exactly similar to that, you have to spend at least twenty seconds washing your hands to prevent this virus. So when I say twenty seconds, the you know CDC recommends to sing Happy Birthday song for two times, or you could also sing your favorite song like Why this color very color very color very D, and then you could do three times to meet the twenty seconds. Okay, you could just be different. um hand sanitizers are better than nothing but it is not effective and if you want to use it make sure that it is more than 60% and then don't bring the hand sanitizer from the office you know you buy your own okay you can order it amazon and other things you can do is don't be an idiot when i mean my idiot is internet derived information obstructing treatment that is the syndrome that is bothering all the doctors in the everywhere in the world and we are just sick and tired of this all right the only website that you should know is cdc.gov again i repeat cdc.gov g o v you don't have to do anything else and uh, you could also do like some general measures uh to improve your immunity for example get 7 hours of sleep if you can't sleep at home sleep at work but make sure that you get 7 hours of sleep number 2 get 150 minutes of physical activity which will boil down to 30 minutes of physical activity every day 
you know you, you, are, you have to exert yourself you know if you see somebody do lifting weights in the gym you'll be like going near them and telling them that thambi paathu meduva dumbbell ku valike podu vegama thookada you need to increase your heart rate you just cannot be like hava hava hey hava you sh- nothing will happen you should increase your heart rate uh, at least to an ex- to a point that you will exert a little bit and then the third foods rich in vitamin c like citrus fruits lemon grapefruit orange has been shown to decrease the severity of the infection and the few other questions that i have been asked is how about travel so strict no no if you're going to south korea uh, hong kong china iran and italy and these are all like red flags in cdc website if you want to go to india make sure that you don't go through hong kong i know it's very tempting to book that cheapest 500 dollar ticket through cathay pacific if you get that ticket you will get on the plane but you might not go to india all right how about mask if you are sick please wear it if you are not sick please don't wear it it is not of any use and again people who are sick please wear the damn mask nobody is going to be appreciative of your beauty risking the corona virus all right don't be that waiter at home in that coffee shop where he puts all the five fingers at the same time dipping into the five dt glasses picks all the five tea glasses keeps it at the center of the table and walks as if he is a hero and we'll be like wow what a man don't be that person just be responsible so that you don't spread this infection across and lastly very importantly don't be a racist you know my one of my patient this morning is asking me uh, should i have to eat should i have to avoid chinese food i was so mad i was like you know go and log into your facebook and block all your chinese friends as well because corona can can transmit through facebook so um, anyways be responsible be safe out there treatment and vaccination we don't have it here now gilead pharmaceuticals is preparing this drug uh, which is in phase 3 trial which is very good compared to the last uh, few virus epidemics that we had we are already in phase 3 maybe in 3 to 4 months we might get the virus or we might get the treatment um and vaccination it's going to be only in july of 2021 maybe like 14 15 months from now so that is not going to help us right now at that time there will be an another corona 2 there'll be like bahubali 2 and then who will be and then hashtag will be like who kill corona 1 like who kill katappa all right guys i think um, i'm done with all the questions um if you have any more please let me know i'll be happy to answer if i know if not i will seek the answer for you and then i'll get back to you this is my first attempt in doing something like this at a stretch so please ignore the fillers um and then we will try to come up with a, a different video next time all right bye bye